since I had to type this one up. Mari Mari and the Antichrist Propaganda and Prophecy. Do you ever wonder why people cover their eye in Hollywood advertising music? We see it everywhere worldwide. It's not a coincidence. It's not a cool move. The list really goes on. This is Antichrist Propaganda, okay? Whether the people that do these things know it or not, it's the same thing as throwing up gain signs to represent. And what they're representing is the beast system, the new world order, the Antichrist to come. I've said many times the kingdom of darkness is making way for their Messiah, who is the Antichrist, just like we're making way for the true Messiah, the return of Jesus Christ. Only difference is one side's already been defeated. One side is not. People who participate in the, this demonic propaganda, Again, I'm convinced that the vast majority don't understand the roots of what they're told to do, and they are told to do it. It's often coupled with a three-six symbol, and they're just like living billboards to advertise the age at hand. This type of propaganda became popularized in the 50s. It's just grown since then worldwide. Most of these people are monetarily, financially, in one way or another, rewarded for their participation in. Again, whether or not they're aware of the symbols that they're throwing up, the powers that be are and so must we be. I want to read, I want to discuss a little bit about Bishop Mari, also known as Mari Mari, a little bit on his background. And then I want to get into Zechariah 11, the prophecy of the shepherds, which is soon to be fulfilled. So Bishop Mari straight up bottom line let's start here he's controlled opposition that's something we call in the conspiracy community which i am no longer but i used to be as someone who gives you enough truth they seem like they're on your side but they're not he's deceiving a lot of people right now he recently lost his right eye in a violent attack as he preached and i'm going to show you that this is straight up foreshadowing this is the same attack that's going to come to pass upon the very antichrist himself Yet the Antichrist will be miraculously healed before your eyes and mine and everyone who watches this attack. This is biblical saints. So Mari often speaks against the Freemasons. He uh, speaks against the New World Order, quote unquote. He has, especially since the attack, a cult following. Despite his blatant and proud, freely spoken and loud idolatry, straight up teaches people uh, to that they have to pray to saints he's straight up has stated that he bows before mary and begs mary mother mary that jesus hears his prayers um to only immature christians to only fake christians straight up to only people who have never opened the scriptures do you realize that this type of heresy is despicable before god it's an abomination and you don't know god if you could talk this way, at least not the God of the Bible. No, he has yet to repent. He still speaks on this and his cult following is just growing. You know, people don't care the way that they stand up for him and they've drunk his Kool-Aid and it probably comes from the same batch of Taylor Swift's Kool-Aid. And the reason I link those two, I talked about Taylor Swift recently is because their cult followings, what they're doing, got to look at the grand scale. They're foreshadowing the absolute devotion that billions will offer to the antichrist to come. This is all very purposeful and intentional as well as the absolute persecution you and I and people who who disagree with the system will suffer for refusing the liars not just refusing them but for not actively supporting them this is all going to go beyond we all have a truth no that's not the system we're walking into the b system will demand that you actively and loudly bow to its truth or else they rejected jesus but they will receive the antichrist are you prepared saints let's read the prophecy of the shepherd zechariah 11 Thus says the Lord my God. Now, just a little quick background. This is the two shepherds, the true shepherd, Jesus Christ, and how he was betrayed for 30 bucks, and the false shepherd, the Antichrist to come. So half of this prophecy has already come to pass. The other half is about to. Thus says the Lord my God, feed the flock for slaughter, whose owners slaughter them and feel no guilt. Those who sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their shepherds do not pity them. For I will no longer pity the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord, but indeed I will give everyone into his neighbor's hand and into the hand of his king. They shall attack the land, and I will not deliver them from their hand. So I fed the flock for slaughter, in particular the poor of the flock. I took for myself two staffs, the one I called beauty, and the other I called bonds and I fed the flock. 
I dismissed the three shepherds in one month. My soul loathed them and their soul abhorred me. Then I said, I will not feed you. Let what is dying die and what is perishing perish. Let those that are left eat each other's flesh. And I took my staff beauty and cut it in two that I might break the covenant which I had made with all the people. So it was broken on that day. Thus the poor of the flock who were watching me knew that it was the word of the Lord. Then I said to them, if it is agreeable to you, give me my wages and if not refrain. So they weighed out for my wages, 30 pieces of silver. And the Lord said to me, throw it to the potter that princely prince they set on me. So I took the 30 pieces of silver and threw them into the house of the Lord for the potter. Then I cut into my other staff bonds that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And the Lord said to me, next, take for yourself the implements of a foolish shepherd. For indeed, I will raise up a shepherd in the land who will not care for those who are cut off, nor seek the young, nor heal those that are broken, nor feed those that still stand. But he will eat the flesh of the fat and tear their hooves in pieces. Woe to the worthless shepherd who leaves the flock. A sword shall be against his arm and against his right eye. His arm shall completely wither and his right eye shall be totally blinded. Needless to say, for those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, that's exactly what we saw with the attack on Mari Mari. This wasn't some random guy. This is a guy who is spouting idolatry to millions of people who are loving it. And he claims to be a true follower of Messiah Yeshua, the Christ. More than heresy, this is an abomination unto itself. This was not a random attack, okay? And this just comes to my heart now. You better believe that at one point or another, mark my words, there's going to be a public display of another controlled opposition, another fake believer whose, this is attack against his right eye, whose arm is going to be totally withered. Meaning in one way or another, someone who claims to be a follower of Jesus Christ and probably has a large following because people will see this, is going to also be attacked in the right arm. This man, Mari Mari, he's clearly working for the Vatican, a.k.a. the beast system agenda. And again, those in the flesh will say, it's a coincidence. How can someone who have offered so much truth be a liar? Saints, that's the definition of demonic doctrine. For three and a half years of the tribulation that's soon to kick off, the Antichrist will be everything that this world wants him to be. I don't even think we realize that. He's going to do things in a short time that other leaders couldn't do in their entire lifetimes. His favor is sat satanic. His power is demonic. He will offer the false peace and then he will demand to be worshipped as God and read the scriptures to see what happens next. As for Mari Mari, he's just another pawn in the beast system, convincing only to those with no eyes to see. For those still following him, I assure you, you cannot follow Bishop Mari and follow the Bible. You cannot repent while there's still time. Pray for all, submit to God, resist the enemy, and he will flee. These demonstrations of scripture of the beast system's God, who is soon to come into power, they're just going to continue and grow greater. Just like I said with, mark my words, someone is going to be wounded in their arm, someone who is claiming to be preaching the word of God, just like with Mari, because that is how the demonic system of this world comes to pass. People are going to continue to say, wow, poor Mari, Mari, wow, look at those signs and wonders, wow, look at the false peace treaty, except to them, it won't be false, it'll be great, until they too are swept away by the floods of God's wrath, like they were during the flood. This world, including Israel, violently re rejected Yeshua, Messiah of all of us, yet they will freely, quickly, willingly, lovingly, devotedly, and obsessively receive the Antichrist, the false shepherd. This prophecy will come to pass before you can say unholy propaganda as the Antichrist will be revealed during the time of Jacob's trouble, a.k.a. the 70th week of Daniel's prophecy, a.k.a. the seventh, excuse me, the seven year tribulation period. Saints, in closing, please read Matthew 24 to see what comes next and we'll finish up with verse 21. For then there will be great tribulation such as has not been seen since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be.